I'm artist Lillian Gray, and today's lesson is all about how to finish our beautiful emperor penguins. So, first step is to finish off these guys nice and smooth. You don't want it to look homemade, you want it to look awesome. So, um, you can sand down uh, any areas that are a bit rough, or you can use the top of an old kitchen sponge um, to really just smooth out the edges and make sure they're ready before you start painting and make sure to get rid of all the dust before you start putting on your acrylic paint because you don't want dust in your paint. love working off an uh, actual reference of what these animals look like um, so that I could paint them accurately. We're going to be blending a lot on these little guys but first up I just want you to notice that the little chick is like a light grey and the mommy is like a black, white and a bit of a yellow. But first I just want to um, almost colour block them and just get a nice solid colour on. going to give the mom a solid white base I'm just using the sponge and just going to make sure I cover all of it not too much by that about the toes because eventually I want to do the toes in black Okay, emperor penguin feet is really gross and really not pretty. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just paint them black. You can put a bit of a sponge effect on if you want that uh, true look that they've got. Their feet are so massive. Because remember they're there for insulation for the baby to keep the baby warm or breed the egg in that crazy arctic ice. Sure to twist your sculpture, make sure to get into all the little crevices. There's always like a little angle that you might have skipped. So it's good to just turn it around and double check. I'm going to take a tiny pointy brush and make sure that I just put in all the little lines exactly where I want them and then fill in all the black. black there are areas where the lines are nice and crisp uh, the emperor penguin and then there's areas where it actually fades so down here with the legs it really fades into gray so you can brush in the gray um, you can use your finger to blend fingers work well sponges work well um, you can even take your sponge and get that uh, crazy texture on the feet uh, that they do have which makes it feel just a lot more real and you'll see the black really makes the feet pop um, so I'm really just working that in just make that belly blend um, remember this gray also camouflages the chick right so the chick um, is also nice and woolly they've got these like crazy feathers, um, uh, fluffy feathers when they're born. So I'm just sponging on that little fluff ball texture that they do have. And they don't have such clean lines because they're all, um, you know, just a ball of fluff basically when they're born. You know, I like this texture. Uh, I'm also just going to take a nice pointy brush and 
And now I'm just gonna really put in his face. The chick's face is white. And where it blends, just dab with your finger. Okay, I think my little guy is almost done. What I'd like to add now is just his little feet is also just a little bit darker than the rest of his body. So I'm just brushing that in and to keep the texture, I'm working quite rough and I can just dab with my finger. Here's my little bubba. Okay, we're now going to add the really like fanciness of the emperor penguin with the yellow and the orange blending. So um, you would like your black to be really dry for this step because you don't want these bright colors to really get dirty. done painting so we are going to seal them you guys can either seal them in a matte clear spray varnish uh, spray paint or a shiny one depends on which look you want or a varnish for paintings or acrylic paintings or oil paintings so it really depends on what you want I would um, seal this one separately and this one separately and once they're dry you can snuggle the little baby onto the feet Always wear a mask with spray paint, it's quite toxic. And work in a well-ventilated area. That's it for our beautiful Emperor Penguin sculptures. Just going to leave them to dry for a bit. They should be dry within like two minutes. And then they're ready um, to show off. Thank you guys for watching. I'm artist Lillian Gray. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.